everyone and welcome to another episode of CAD Mode. What do we have here with us is the Red by Note 3, almost a year after its release and you must be still wondering why do we have it in the review list. Well, this is not a regular review but an optimistic review on this phone. So since we received it from Flipkart, let's open this up. This is regular Flipkart packaging with the Flipkart labels all over it so let's just open this up and what do we have here a small compact package which means your courier boy won't be requiring either this, this or the help of any outer space aliens to transport the phone to you basically. So at the back there are the specifications with the made in India label also that's so cool. So let's just open up this cover and uh, see what's inside. And here we go, this is a champion gold colored phone. So tell me what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see a gold colored phone? Is it something like this? Gold all in my chain, gold all in my ring, gold all in my watch, don't believe me just watch me. Well, that might be the case if you are so obsessed with the gold color. So, if not, then you might feel that this is some normal phone like any other phone. Let's just have a look at the contents of the box and see what the box exactly carries. The first thing is the user manual. Now, if you're someone who's really free and have got lots of time, you can actually go through this manual. Second in the row is the SIM card ejector tool. Now this is something that makes our life very much easier because when this tool is there, there is no necessity for us to do things like these to eject the SIM card slot. Very generous of the company to provide this in the package. And then comes the charger plug to which you can connect the data cable to charge your phone. So this is like a normal charger, not a USB-C type, a normal charger phone. So use it carefully until you don't want to end up yourself with something like this. Now coming to the phone, let's have a look at the features. First of all, let me just remove the covers that are there on the back and the front is just looks like it is wearing some kind of bulletproof vest. God knows what it is going to protect it from because you drop it, you break it. The reason being that although the build quality is quite solid, the company does not specifically mention about the presence of any kind of Gorilla Glass protection. If you look at it from this sideways, it looks very much elegant and slim. That's the design build quality quality which gives it this elegance. On the bottom we have only the USB charging port and the noise cancellation port while on the top we have this noise cancellation port along with the IR blaster that's a pretty cool feature with the 3.5mm jack that's good. Having a look at the sim card slot we can find that this is a hybrid sim card slot that means you can either put one sim and one memory card or two sims with no memory card. Yeah, I know it's a sad thing, so let's just put that back in and switch on this device. In the meantime, you can have a look at the specifications. Now as soon as you start the device, it welcomes you with a very pretty impressive user interface. Okay, this is very much simpler to use when compared to the other user interfaces. So going to the settings, we can see the about phone where almost all the specifications uh, with regards to the RAM, the processor, everything is given and then you can see the OS version on which this is running. This is actually running on a lollipop Android OS. So you will gradually get an upgrade in the later stages but as of now when you start the phone you get a lollipop OS. Now let's move to the next most important feature of the phone that is a camera. So this is a feature which almost every people look with great expectations when they buy a phone. So the camera interface over here is also very much simpler to use with all these functions around it that will allow you to reduce the light sensitivity increase the shuttle speed and even the clicking speed is very much pretty impressive when you compare it with other phones of this range. 
so the picture quality is also decent and you don't get a degradation in the pictures when you are going into a zoom mode for the photos the picture quality is above par and i'm pretty sure you won't be let disappointed with the camera performance thank you for watching the video please subscribe to our channel for much more interesting videos and please do share this video so that it reaches maximum number of people